Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Adisasa ticketing tutorial. Ticketing is a feature that has been developed by Adisasa to ensure that the platform users are able to get solutions to the issues that they raise. So from the landing page, you are able to view the contacts that you can use to reach out to the customer care team. We have an official email address, as well as the phone numbers which are manned by the customer care team, which you can call at any time of day or night on any issue that you are facing. And finally, we have this chatbot, which is also manned by the customer care team and is available 24 hours a day. To initiate a conversation, you will type the question or issue that you have in the text box provided and a response will be given to you in real time and a team on the ground is going to give you guidance on the issue that you raise. Also, it is key to note that depending on the issue that you might be asking about, there are some that can be resolved by the customer care team but there are also others where a ticket will need to be raised. So when a ticket is raised, you'll have an opportunity to have a chat with an officer of the specific department that your issue falls under so that the issue can be solved amicably. Kindly note that not all issues will have tickets raised for them. The issues eligible for ticketing will need to be of a specific nature. For example, settling of invoices, stamp duty payment, among others. So kindly log into your account where you'll be required to enter your credentials. That is the identification number or the Adisasa ID and the password you used when creating your account. Key in your Adisasa ID or your national ID, enter your password, and then click continue. You'll be provided with a one-time password code, an OTP, which will be sent to the phone number you used to register with on the platform. Once you have received the OTP, type the code onto the OTP prompt box and then click log in. You'll be navigated to the dashboard. You'll find a number of tabs provided on the left panel of your screen. The default tab is the services tab, as you can see, which features the services listed under the various departments we have in the Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning. In this ticketing tutorial, we will work with an example of a land rent issue on a parcel whose land rent information requires updating. So after chatting with the customer care agent using the chatbot, a ticket has been raised for you, and thus you will click on the My Tickets tab in order to access the ticket. Under this page, there are three distinct tabs provided, there's the open tab, the ongoing tab, and the close tab. All the tickets that have been raised for you will be listed among the tabs provided, depending on their progression. Each ticket will feature the ticket number, the date that the ticket was created, the elapsed time since the ticket was created, as well as the department in regards to the specific issue that has been raised. The open tab features tickets that have been raised for you, but have not been assigned to the relevant ministry officials to act upon, it or they still need some action from your side, as will be portrayed momentarily. The ongoing tab features tickets whose details you have already provided and submitted, and it's now up to the ministry's side, through the relevant officials, to do their part in solving the issue. And the closed tab features tickets whose issues have been successfully sorted out by the relevant ministry officials. As you can see on the open tab, we have the open ticket, which was raised a few moments ago. So when you click on view, You'll be navigated to a page displaying the ticket details. Here, you'll be able to see the ticket number, the subject of the ticket raised, and also a summary information of the issue therein. So based on the nature of the issue that has been raised, the officer that is working on the issue is going to ask you to attach a few documents, and thus you'll attach the relevant documents so that the ministry official can sort the issue out. In some instances, the customer care team will have guided you on what you should upload, and if that is the case, you can go ahead and upload the documents even without prompting. So either you or the ministry official is able to initiate the conversation and you are both able to attach the documents of relevance to the ticket issue. As you can see, the ministry staff assigned to this ticket has requested that you attach the most recent land rent clearance certificate and the title deed or whatever identification document you have. Through this attach file button, you are able to attach the required documents, which at the time of this conversation should have been scanned for upload. In our case, you'll be attaching the certificate of title. So upon sending, you will see that the message has been reflected. Using the information from the attached document, the officer is going to work on the issue, and if they can sufficiently handle the problem virtually, they'll handle it and subsequently make a comment on the same. For example, after this issue has been resolved, the ministry official will make a comment and indicate that the land rent has been updated and it's a message that both you and the ministry official can see.
However, depending on the type of issue that is being addressed, there are scenarios where it might not be sufficiently solved in the digital platform, and in that case, an invite is going to be created by the ministry official. Once the invite is created, a notification will be sent to you on SMS and on email as well, informing you that you will need to avail yourself. That notification can also be seen once you click on the bell button on the top right hand corner of the screen. To access the invitation, kindly click on the My Appointment tab. Here, there are four distinct tabs provided. There's the Invitations tab, the Upcoming Appointments tab, the Past Appointments tab, and lastly, there's the Missed Appointments tab. The Invitations tab features a complete list of invitations that have been made to you by the different ministry officials for different issues that have been raised. The Upcoming Appointments tab features all the appointments that you are supposed to attend to. The past appointments tab features appointments that you have already attended to. And lastly, the missed appointments tab features the appointments which you did not show up for and thus are categorized as such. So we navigate back to the invitations tab and click on the view button alongside the first and most recent entry, which as you can see, was created 11 minutes ago. Upon doing so, you'll be able to see the entire conversation between yourself and the ministry official assigned to the ticket, and you'll need to set an appointment. This will reflect the time that you'll need to show up at the premises or location that has been specified. This particular appointment being set is for 31st March at 9 a.m. Upon scheduling the appointment, the invitation moves to the upcoming appointments tab. So when you view the upcoming appointment, you'll be able to see the gate pass as well as the information about the scheduled appointment. There's the reference number as well as the department. This gate pass has a QR code which is supposed to be scanned at the gate when accessing the premises of invitation so as to provide proof of said invitation and that the specified department is expecting the appointment. The gate pass can also be downloaded so that it can be printed and shown at the gate in case you'll be sending someone else to represent you on the matter. Once the invite is made, there are certain specifics that will be communicated to you in terms of what you'll need to carry. For example, the attached documents might not be clear and thus you may be required to bring the original documents of the same. And once the appointment is attended to, it moves to the past appointments tab. It is key to note that there are different kinds of issues that clients can have tickets raised for. One of these issues touch on payments that have been made on the system but are not reflecting. Here, the client will need to reach out to a customer care agent and a ticket is going to be raised for the ticket to be confirmed. We also have cases whereby individuals would want their personal account details to be updated, for example, the phone number or change of signature. We also have registration of individuals who are not able to register using the methods that have been provided. This can be foreign nationals who are either living in Kenya or other parts of the world and would like to be registered on the system. Said individuals will reach out to the customer care desk and an anonymous ticket will be created for them. Another scenario that is eligible for ticket creation is that of the power of attorney entry number. The system requires the use of a specific format for the power of attorney entry number and thus if you the client is not aware of how to refer to your power of attorney in the system, you'll raise your issue with the customer care team and the power of attorney number format will be confirmed for you and it's going to be sent to you through the ticketing system. And in case of any other issue which you'll not be able to get solutions for on the system or in the course of using the platform, you'll reach out to the customer care team on it and if they are not in a position to answer you conclusively, they'll raise a ticket for you to the specific department and you'll receive advice on the same. That's it for the disaster ticketing tutorial. Feel free to give feedback on this video in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell button alongside the subscribe button to get notifications on new videos as and when we post them. Thanks for watching and goodbye.